Hello, beautiful Crick's family. So today we're going to talk about storms, you know, those tough times. Firstly, you're going to describe a difficult change um, or something that you've dealt with in your life that's been really hard. You're going to choose something from your past because in future weeks we're going to have a look at what's going on right now. Okay, so it could be something that happened to you personally or something that you're going through with your family. So maybe you've been working through a health issue or you've struggled with a subject at school. Maybe you've lost a family member or a pet. Um, maybe your family has moved away from a place that you really loved and felt connected to. Or perhaps you've battled with anxiety or low self-esteem. So after we've had a look at this, and we'll talk about it in, in greater depth, next you're going to write down at least one strategy that you employed at that time to help you get through. So for example, it could be something like I went to see a doctor, uh, I got a tutor to help me with that subject, or I downloaded a calming app on my phone. And the third thing you're going to do is have a look at what did you learn? So in what way did you grow? So when we go through difficult times, we can learn new skills or gain special knowledge. Um, we might grow in compassion or patience toward ourselves or toward other people. We might learn how to support ourselves better, like eat healthier or go to bed earlier. And sometimes supporting yourself can look like just reminding yourself that no one is perfect and it's okay to make mistakes and you give yourself permission to try something new. Sometimes that can be a big thing for us to learn. So let me share a personal example of a storm. It was a firestorm. Last year, you might've heard about the horrible fires that were going on around Australia. In fact, we have one right behind us. Uh, we have beautiful bushland surrounding our home. And on the 9th of September, on a very dry and very windy day, um, a fire got out of control just near our home. It spread into a gigantic inferno um, and uh, jumped over a highway behind us and destroyed many acres of um, bushland and wildlife. We had to quickly hose down our house. We collected our puppy and our passports and uh, we had to evacuate. It was pretty scary. And the last thing I remember about that night was a wall of roaring flames higher than the trees behind us and bright orange embers just swirling around in the dark night. Um, yeah, it was really terrifying. So thankfully our street was spared. Um, however, that was just the first fire of the fire season. Over the next few weeks there were several more near us so imagine um, sirens, uh, helicopters, planes flying overhead dropping water, um, smoke everywhere all the time and the fear of not knowing if the fire was going to reach your house or your friends or your kids schooling um, these fires raged on through our country for months and many properties and lives were lost and it was a season of devastation. So days after the fire near our home, I walked through the smouldering forest at the back of our house and I cried. Um, these were tears of both um, relief and sadness. Um, I was relieved because we were safe and our house and furniture were safe and I was really thankful for that. And that day when I was down in the forest, I collected um, ash and soot and bits of burnt um, shrubs, etc., and created this artwork. So you can see some of the charcoal um, bits of bark and this gray color here was um, created with ash and charcoal. So this artwork represents um, the promise of life behind pain. And do you know what's so beautiful 
um, within a week of our bushland being dead and grey, um, you could see the most stunning sight ever. You could see these tender green shoots emerging out of the, out of the blackness. Um, I was just so amazed to see this restoration process of nature. It was really incredible and it made me think about how um, this happens in our hearts. It's a reflection of how God mends our hearts after we've experienced brokenness or um, grief or struggle. God can mend these broken places and help us to grow in courage and strength. Um, and we can learn to be vulnerable and trust him. So here we go. In another few weeks, we're going to process difficult things that are going on now in our lives. But right now, I want you to take a deep breath and recount a major storm that might have impacted you in your past. So storms look different to everybody and they can, they can affect us in different ways too. Um, now that this storm is over, I want you to have a think about ways that you might have grown. Do you recognize any growth in your life? So I've attached a document um, which talks about learning and growing and that can give you lots of examples of um, things that you can look for in your life that you might have grown through a storm. In the example I used of my firestorm, I learned several things through this hard, hard season and particularly that difficult event. Um, I'll share just one thing with you. Uh, it was really interesting that only two days before we experienced this fire, I really felt strongly to talk to my family about a fire safety plan. Um, so we had had a little bit of advanced warning to prepare ourselves. We'd had a discussion at dinner about what we might do if there's a fire. Um, so what I learned was to trust those inner promptings um, of God on my heart. You know, when there's different things that come up to, to talk them through and just trust that he... Um, he has my best interest at heart and he wants to protect me and my family. So, okay, it's your turn now. Have a talk about your storm. Use art or words. Um, this is your story, so you can be as creative as you like and make sure you, you remember to include the different ways that you might have grown through this experience.